Okay, this tutorial is for constructing the in-center of a triangle. As you recall, the in-center is the intersection of all the angle bisectors of the triangle. Uh, very similar to the perpendicular bisectors that we did uh, in the last tutorial, you actually only need to do two in order to uh, uh, complete this construction. The third one is implied. You don't need to do the third one. So I'm going to construct the angle bisectors of this angle and this angle right here, and that should give me my in-center, which is the center of the circle that inscribes the triangle, which means it's going to be right here on the inside. So as you recall, to do an angle bisector, you put the point of your compass on the angle, on the vertex of the angle, and then make an arc. And then from here, we want to put the point of our compass right here, open it up more than halfway, make an arc, an arc out here, turn around and do the same thing, and that will give me my angle bisector. So I'm going to put the point of my compass right on that intersection, open it up more than halfway, make a mark on the outside. It's not a very good mark. There we go. Make another one exact same distance on the other side. There we go. And now if I uh, connect the vertex of the angle and this intersection point, I should get a nice angle bisector. So now what basically what I know is that this angle is now congruent to this angle right here. That's the definition of an angle bisector. So now I'm going to uh, repeat the process right down here. And I'll do this angle right here. So I'm going to start by making my arc. And then I'm going to put the point of my compass on this intersection, open it up more than halfway. That looks pretty good. Make that mark, turn it around, and make the same exact arc on this side. And there's my point of intersection. So connect that with the vertex of the angle. And there you go. So now what I've done is I've created the angle bisectors of this angle and this angle. And so this intersection point right here should be my in-center. So theoretically, if I've done this correctly, I should be able to put the point of my compass right here, open it up until it intersects one of the sides, and then if I draw a circle, it should intersect each side at just one point. In other words, it shouldn't cross outside the triangle. It should stay completely inside the triangle. So let's see how I did here. Point of my compass on the center. Open it up so it's just on the line, right about there. That's not too bad. You can see my circle right here. It's a little off right here, but that's okay. Like I said, these are crude instruments. They're not going to be perfect, but the process is correct. So angle bisectors gave you my in-center.